privacy and safety are fragile things. One moment, you're alone. The next, you're being watched. In today's video, we're diving into the chilling world of real-life stalking, giving you a closer look at those unsettling moments. Let's get started. This homeowner is about to go to bed when their instincts draw their attention to something creepy. This person had heard a suspicious sound outside the house. They check to see who it is from their living room window. They see a hooded man standing outside the window, just eerily looking into the house. The homeowner runs back into the house. On the house's second floor, they check out the window again and see the man is now standing by the bush. The homeowner runs out of the house to see who this stalker is. When they get out, the stalker is gone. This woman tried her best, but it seems it wasn't enough as she is made to do what she hates. This woman looks quite rough and out of place where she is by the car. A man is standing by her side watching her. Another man leaves the car, standing behind her. The men are intimidating her with her presence. One of them gestures for her to enter the car. The woman is in distress and she rests her head on the car door. With no help coming, she gets into the car. The men join her. This stalker has been troubling the homeowner for months, but on an eventful night, the tables were flipped. It's dead in the middle of the night when this man walks into the focal point of the dash cam. He has a handkerchief over his face as a mask. He goes around the camera. The stalker then walks towards another side of the house calmly. The lights in one of the houses come on as he passes. With him not having access to the house, he breaks an egg on the windshield of the homeowner's car. Then he leaves. This store owner broke up with his girlfriend, but things escalated, and he is afraid. This car drives in and parks in the parking lot of this store. The dash cam from another car is recording all that is happening. The driver doesn't exit the car for a while, then he parks the car after deciding not to leave the store parking lot. After a few seconds, he leaves his car. A white truck drives by as the man heads toward the store. The truck circles the truck parking lot. A weird man has been visiting the homeowner for a while now, but this night's encounter made him confirm something disturbing. This homeowner is returning to his home late at night. Ahead, there's another car with its headlights on as its occupant stalks the homeowner's home and family. The stalker begins to drive away from the home as the homeowner drives through the gates of the house. For several nights, this homeowner suspected someone was stalking him. When he installs a door cam, he finds out something strange. This stalker walks up to the front door of the homeowner. The dash cam captures his face. He notices that he's being recorded and hides his face behind his hand but doesn't leave.
the homeowner doesn't answer the door. He turns around and heads to the exits. He pauses at the exit, looking out the glass before he leaves the building. She has a deep obsession with a man, and this drives her to do something crazy that is caught on camera. The man walks into his room and closes the door shut. He walks to his bed, but he doesn't notice there is a creepy person, a woman by the wall, previously hidden by the door. He takes his shirt off and lies on the bed to sleep. The woman starts walking creepily towards him. She gets close to the man, careful not to make a sound. The man is now fast asleep. She stretches her hand to touch him. A dangerous stalker meets his end in an interesting way. The footage shows the embarrassing moment. We got here. That's how Commander William Booth of the Los Angeles Police Department responded when asked if indeed the suspected walking killer had... The police officers are waiting around for a stalker who has been recently apprehended to be brought out and escorted. Some officers bring the man out. He was captured this morning in the Hollenbeck area of East Los Angeles. He was first seen at around 8.30 near a liquor store in the Midtown. The police drive out of the police station. The stalker is in the car between two officers. He hides his face so the journalists won't take his photos. Later he was spotted by citizens who called police. He was walking in the Hollenbeck area neighborhood. At a news conference this afternoon, Arriving at their destination, the cops bring him out of the car and towards the police station. He tries to hide his face. This concerned person noticed a weird occurrence. They set up their camera and get the shock of their life. A guest in a hotel notices something strange. They bring out their phone recording two cars, a white truck and a black SUV, parked side by side in the hotel parking lot. The vehicles are hiding a gang of stalkers, waiting for something. The vehicles do not move, but some figures are moving around the car in the darkness. They are hard to make out. The stalkers drive by this house and return, but they shouldn't have to go ahead. In this quiet neighborhood, a suspicious black car drives by the houses. However, the driver is looking at the house with the doorbell camera as he drives by. A while later, the car drives back and stops in front of the house. There are two people, stalkers in the car. Young camera, decade. The men throw some objects at the house, laughing. They drive away when the homeowner yells at them that they are on camera. The stalker does what he does but more eyes are on him than he can imagine. The neighborhood is deadly silent this late into the night. Nothing is moving, but a man soon walks out of the darkness. He moves confidently past the houses, but he keeps his head down to hide his face. Another camera records the man as he moves through the street. His hands are in his pocket and he seems to be heading somewhere with purpose. The man walks back down the street and the houses as their motion-activated lights come on. 
For months, this stalker made her live in fear, but things changed on an eventful night. Here at her mother's house, waking up day after day to find her tire slashed. That's when she went out and bought this small night vision camera. She put it here. This lady noticed that her car tires were getting slashed in the middle of the night. She doesn't know who is doing this and reports to the cops. But with no concrete proof, they could do nothing. The lady buys a night vision camera and places it on the porch. You heard it right. She said shooting, and you're about to see it for yourself, captured by Kathy's hidden camera. It's one o'clock in the morning. A few nights pass by and the stalker drives by and shoots at her car. She recognizes the stalker as her neighbor. Shotgun and fires again, shattering the front window of the house. Kathy is sleeping on the floor just a few feet away with her mother and seven. The stalker returns and shoots at the window of her house. The bullet goes through the window and into the house. The lady and her family are sleeping by the window. A suspicious woman might be fatal to this unsuspecting man. So it's timeless. So we'll record this year. The lady is sitting cross-legged in this apartment building and on her phone. A man approaches the building. He gets to the door and opens it. The woman leaves her seat, using her mask to cover her face. She goes to her mailbox and inserts the key into it. Yet, she doesn't open it. She stays there and the man is behind her, watching. She leaves and the man goes to the mailbox. She watches the cameraman before she enters the elevator. This stalked man is prepared for his stalker, but something goes wrong. All right, all right, I'm being proven wrong. All right, all right, I like that. I like to be proven wrong, especially in these types of... The driver has noticed any time he drives through the area, there's someone always stalking him from a car. He expects the person to be around today. When he doesn't see their car, he thinks the stalker is gone. Oh, there we go. Look, he's not going to want to go at all. He's going to try and keep me trapped in here. Then he sees the stalker's car as he's about to drive into the road. The stalker's car is parked at the junction, not moving. The driver would have been trapped, but the street is wide enough for him to drive through. The stalker begins to follow the driver as seen from his rearview mirror. After a long time of observing a stalker on their street, it was time to do something, but the stalker might just have a different plan. The silver car ahead of this person is hiding a stalker. The stalker has been consistently coming to this street. The person has had enough. They bring out their phone to record the stalker's plate number. Knowing he is being recorded, the stalker drives off immediately. Tired of getting stalked, this man plays a different card for a better result. Now look, I'm gonna get out. Here go the bitch right here. We gonna get on camera. We gonna get on camera real, real quick. This man has been stalked consistently for a while now. After leaving the shop, he waits in the car for his stalker to come out. The stalker, a woman exits the shop, holding a small white bag in her hand. Say hey to the camera. No, it's not me, no I'm not taking a picture of you. <laughs> she sees the man and knows he's recording her. She runs to her car, asking the man not to take a picture of her. He says he isn't. She laughs, entering her car. All this, all this parking. But she chooses to come over here with me. That's right. Run. Run. She drives away to the man's relief. He has stalked the homeowner for a while now, but he failed to take into account a big obstacle to his sinister plan. The stalker runs up to the door of this homeowner, trying to kick the door down. He walks back and runs towards the door again. He kicks it, but it doesn't come open. He 
takes off his gloves, looking frustrated. He tries to break down the door again and fails. He ruffles his hair in annoyance. He realizes there's a camera capturing him and destroys it. On an open road, two cars drive side by side and one holds a stalker with unknown intentions. This driver sees as his stalker boldly drives beside him with her window down. He records her. She pretends to be on a call and rolls up her window. Wow. Reaching an intersection, she parks, and so does the man. The woman rolls down her window, still talking to someone on the phone and waving her hand. She looks out the window and sees she is being recorded but doesn't react. Her worst nightmare comes to life and walks toward what she has no idea of. So we heard banging noises. I'm gonna go check it out. The lady heard banging noises outside her house. She starts recording on her phone and goes to check out what made the noise. She reaches the gate of the house and as she peers out, she sees someone in a white plastic mask and his hoodie drawn up looking at her. Shocked and scared, she runs back inside. The woman wasn't aware her stalker was so close to her. It's only a matter of time before she discovers. Inside a train, the lady notices the man has his phone out recording her. She discovers that his phone screen is showing her bag and her wheeler. She asks why he is recording her. The man lowers his cell phone, covering it as he has been found out. Red-handed inside. <laughs> the man looks away, trying to look innocent after he sees her phone out, recording him. He doesn't want to be recorded as he does his stalking. This stalker uses an insidious lie to justify his actions. You got this guy stealing valor, saying he's a veteran. Where's your paperwork? Where's your paperwork? My paperwork. Where's your paperwork? You're a veteran. I don't, I'm walking. This man has been stalking the homeowner. He pretends to be a veteran just walking his dog in the neighborhood. But the homeowner had seen him let go of his dog's leash. The dog had walked all over his yard, allowing the stalker to snoop around. It wouldn't have been a problem if you would have been holding your leash. The homeowner tells the stalker to hold his dog and not let that happen again. The stalker replies that it will happen again, boldly. You're a veteran? What war? What did you serve? What did you serve, buddy? When asked what war he fought in, the stalker cannot reply, looking speechless. This woman was just having fun, but her stalker ruined it with how he appeared. It's a shocking sight. The woman is making a TikTok video over a popular TikTok sound when she notices someone climbing up the window into her house. Gasping in fear, she asks who the person is. Off. Who are you? Who are you? Please get off. Please get out. Please get out. No, please get out. Yeah. She politely asks him to get out of her window as she backs away. He asks if he's her friend, and she says no. She wants him to get away from her. Please get out of my apartment right now. Get out. She runs out of her apartment as the man enters. She begins to yell for him to get out of her apartment immediately. He leaves through the window. The man being stalked was having none of it, and what he does next frightens the stalker. As we were driving behind her as we came around her the first time, and she is waiting for us. He's anticipating that we're going to... She's going to try her little best to get that phone and take a snapshot of us. The man notices the lady has been watching him for a while now. She tries to act innocent, but he's recording her now. She has her back to him, with a hand close to her ear, receiving a call. 
She knows she has been caught but isn't backing down easily. She walks slowly, glancing back at the man. The woman begins to walk away from the car park, but she angles her phone just in the right position to capture the man's photo or record him. The house looks easy to break into. The stalker tries, but has no idea what the homeowner has planned for him. It's late at night, and this stalker thinks he can take this chance. He gets to this homeowner's door and tries opening the door. He is masked and has a backpack on. The door doesn't open after inputting a pin. He looks for another entrance into the home. None of the doors or windows he tries come open. He has to leave in frustration. The woman never knew she had a stalker. This footage shows the disgusting thing he does on this eventful night. The creepy man crouches and approaches the backyard window of this home. The woman being stalked is in the house and the window is the one to her bedroom. The window is directly above her bed. The man stays by the window, standing straight and watching the woman as she sleeps. He touches himself suggestively as he watches her. The camera is capturing all this without his knowledge. After a while of toiling at his job, the stalker does something drastic leaving the homeowner blind. The man has been on this homeowner's porch for a while now, trying to enter the house either through the window or door. He realizes a camera is recording him and walks off the porch. The man doesn't leave the premises. Staying out of the camera's sight, he takes the camera off the door. With no eyes on him now, he feels he's free to do what he pleases. Few people are safe from a determined stalker, and this woman would have never known what the stalker did without this footage. The man gets on this homeowner's porch. They are not aware, but the camera is getting footage. The stalker is on his phone, tapping away at it. The phone camera app is open and recording. He raises his phone high and points the camera in the direction of another home. He is trying to record a woman through her bathroom window while she bathes. If the man never got this on camera, no one would have believed him. I don't know why. Um, it Seems pretty strange. It hasn't been five minutes and another group of three vehicles show up. Somebody put something on my window to fog it up. The man has been stalked for days now and is determined to capture the stalker on camera. The asserts that the black SUV has a stalker. He also claims that the white mini truck has a stalker that has followed him for three days now. A man walks behind a row of trees, keeping his face down. He stays there for a while before walking out. His face can be seen clearer now. He's looking for the hand sign, looking for the hand sign, he's got it. The man returns to his car but makes a weird sign on his vehicle before entering the car. While this family was having fun, the creepiest thing happened. Side of the fence, to this side of the fence. This father is in his backyard with his kids, playing a game all seems to be going well with the kids having fun. The kids are already getting tired of running around the compound. Ahead, someone in a black jumper has entered the backyard. He stands there, watching this family. Run! The stalker stays where he is watching the family, but when the camera returns to him again, he's gone. The family isn't aware he was there. The stalker's disguise is so good many will be fooled. What about this vlogger? To you, happy birthday. Oh, that's so good! A kid is celebrating his birthday and the vlogger is singing with the other guests for him. Nothing suspicious seems to be happening yet. The vlogger leaves the birthday and is now in a mall. She sees a creepy mannequin that looks oddly human in a glass covering. It's a male thing wearing a woman's dress. She is conflicted if this is a mannequin or a human. This young girl is home alone. But is that true? Someone is watching. Guys, I feel like I have a stalker that keeps on stalking me and won't go away. But I do not know. 
This girl feels she has a stalker that keeps stalking her. The stalker won't leave her alone. She seems to be in her home. When she turns around, there is a creepy figure around the corner, watching her. The stalker runs away from that corner, while the girl goes into hiding in fear. The creepy person finds her hiding spot and smiles at her. He screams, scaring the girl. This man seems to be a magnet for stalkers and each one is worse than the next. The stalker boldly sits in his car and repeatedly takes photos of this person. After getting enough photos, he drives away. So, why are you taking a picture of my license plate? Man, I'm just trying to get to my house, bro. I don't know where I'm at. Man, don't play fucking stupid. Why are you taking a picture? Once again, this man catches another stalker taking a picture of his license plate. He questions the stalker about it, but he dodges the question, saying he doesn't know where he is. Although she had no evidence, she was sure she was being stalked. Where could she get the evidence? A lady complains to the cops that she is being stalked. The police retrieve footage from a street camera and see a suspicious car driving away from the lady's house. The police identify the car and take up the car, but this stalker might have escaped if not for the footage that reveals his car model. They put themselves on lockdown, but the terror caused by the stalker is too much to bear. They need help and fast. Yeah, is he following? I don't know. Is he still following us? Bro. Yeah, I think he might be. He's still seeing Yeah, I, I think he might have turned off his headlights. Really? Yeah. These young men are being followed by a stalker. They are trying to get home late at night, but a car keeps following them. They are worried. They rush to get home. As soon as they arrive, they rush into the house and do their best to secure their premises. The getaway car behind him is another person. Or Bro, there's so many things we don't know. Like, this could go way, way, way bad. We saw him like around here. The security guard finally approaches them by the glass paneling. They talk to him about the stalker, and soon the stalker runs out into the open. These friends were on their way home, but a creep sought to follow them. You'll be shocked at how. This man is driving home, but notices something strange in the street. When he looks closely, it's a naked man chasing after his car with astonishing speed. He stops the car, wondering what to do next. His friends in the car urge him to take a turn and get as far away from the creep as possible. The man catches up and runs quite close to the car, his eyes glowing. <laughs> 